Hello everyone, this is Ambi. Let's talk about on a, uh, what, one data type. What data type shall we talk about? Okay, float and others. Um, actually, it's numbers to be precise. Let me go ahead and uh, get that name created here. So, yeah. Uh, what are floats? We have already talked about that, but let's go ahead and create a notebook here. You can download these notebooks from my GitHub page. You don't have to, so that you'll have a reference when I'm typing. Uh, you can keep that um, at one corner of the screen. You can type, change data there, or you can open up your own notebook and you know, do stuff there, right? So, um, let me go ahead and make up a title. This is called markup language here. As you can see, so markdown. So Python data type numbers, float and dot dot. That means float and others. Except string, most data, let's say except string, or let's say alphabetic string. Mm. String most mm, data can be converted to float using float yeah so mark down here shift enter let's have a look at it a star a equals to our i'm assigning value 2 to a let me go ahead and increase the size here so that you guys can see better i hope this is better let me Okay, so then we have, let's say type two is integer, type a is integer, right? So what I'm gonna do here is I will type uh, float converts a supported data type to float, right? So now let me go to float A. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this here. All right, float A, it made it to rot O. Now type float A is float. But what if I try to do this float A, B, C? It won't work because that is a string. So I'm gonna say given data type is string or alphabetic string. Thus it will fail. Hmm. All right, so now what if I do this float to okay given data type is numeric string numeric string so that will work but let me say this float nan hmm what is that so nan are let me type this for you. Uh, nan or n uppercase, lowercase a, n uppercase stands for not a number. It just says not a number, n a n, right? So that works too. Then this works too. N a n. Just uh, the type of quotation that you use doesn't have any uh, effect on it. Then this works, INF, right? INF works, so um, I'm gonna put some code here. So INF, uh, INF, INF, INFINITY, right? Infinity representation of infinity right 
Um, so, all right, so it works. All of them are same. Uh, so if I do float on a inf this this this, they will all return the same thing. But it will be considered as float type data, right? Uh, should I do all of that? I don't think you want me to, but that's for the fun. Go ahead and do it, right? As you can see, again interchanging your brackets, so I can use double quotes, single quotes, no problem. I can use uh, copy this, control C, control V, control C, control V, shift enter, then control C and take this. So let's not be lazy, let's run all of it just for our peace of mind. What if there is some space there? Um, I'm gonna say uh, nine. So it just removes the space and does it were the it does what it's supposed to do that is convert that numeric string to uh, float so all white spaces are allowed supported right so what do i mean all white spaces here we go float comma space nine backslash r r stands for return uh, that is a white space and then let me copy this control c control v instead of r let me put n n stands for new line yeah and then remove n then let me put t for tab okay let me do this x o p yeah, then let me see X O C X zero C. You see what I'm doing, right? Then then you can also do this one by ten. Shift uh, mathematics, like regular mathematics, and that will work too. You can do let's uh, look at uh, uh this is as I said, this is not just about load, this is stata type numbers. Primarily float, but in general, it's about the session is about numbers. So let's say they give you for this a 1.4. You want to round it up. It becomes one. Then let's say round 1.5. Still one. Strange. What if it's 1.6? Now we're talking. Then round uh, 1.9. Same thing round 2.0 same thing so uh, 0 to um, as you can see uh, 5 uh, says so 0 to 4 right 0 1 2 3 4 uh, it will give it to the uh, whatever that comes before uh, let's say it's 1 right so 1 1 dot 0 is going to be 1, 1 dot 1 is going to be 1, 1 dot 2 is going to be 1, 1 dot 3 is going to be 1, 1 dot 4 is going to be 1 because they are considered to be closer to 1. Then whatever that comes afterwards, 5 to 9, so including 5, 5 to 9, not till 9, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? So they all are considered to be closer to 2. So it's always, you know, 0 to 9, not like 1 to 10. Yeah, uh, you will get a hang of it later when we do uh, more of this stuff. So let's do round minus 1.7, yeah. Hmm, 1.7 is closer to what? Minus 2. So let's say if you want to format a number, this is 1. Point, let's say 9, 7, 8, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, and I will say in brackets, point to f right what happened here as you can see it is point so after the point to f so format this to two strings after format so it says then it's not like removing this eight four five six it's rounding it off to nine point nine eight seven eight four five six the entire thing is rounded off to nine eight but if it was let's say four 
it would have made five, right? So here, yeah, let's leave it to this. Let me put some comments here. Hmm. Format it to two significant digits. Now let me control A. Right, format it to let's say now this one we'll do something else. Point one, mm, point two, uh, zero F. Right, I'm gonna say format it to twenty significant. Oh no, significant digits. Yeah, what happened? So just you know went ahead and uh, added these many zeros but as you can see point one is not exactly always point one zero to infinity point one is after these many zeros you will have triple five i'm not lying either i mean i believe python because and i read it somewhere yes whatever python is giving you it is true point one is not equal to point one zero till infinity after that right so you have this after that so then let me do again let's look at another few more format stuff one point yeah uh, let me copy paste the same thing then i will say point two g right what happened here 2f and 2g you see the difference here right so it rounded off the entire thing to uh, what I'm basically saying is format it um, uh, to two significant uh, digits but when I say two significant digits it's counting it from here so 1.9 uh, is going to be rounded off to 2 makes sense yeah so that's the difference between G and F. Oh, remember that. Then let me just format it to two significant digits and start. But start from. the first number or uh, start from the left uh, start from the left most number from the decimal yeah so I'm gonna say okay and start from decimal to the right, right start from decimal yeah start from decimal start before the decimal and it starts after the decimal after I'll just say after decimal operation after decimal uh entire entire yeah entire number okay i think that makes sense entire number but it says after a decimal then we will go to one more format 1.1234568 1 comma point two G what happened here 1.1 1. 1. right so these two uh, as you can see 1.9 was considered okay 2 but here 1.1 1. Uh, 1 is considered I don't know as just 1 so yeah format it to to significant digits I mean I have never I never had to use these but um, due to this you know confusing behavior here 
I would uh, avoid them and just stick to this. Then, yeah, let's do some, uh, let me show you some uh, surprising results. Point one, point one, let's say uh, this first, one plus one plus one is what? Three, right? Point one plus point one, uh, point one is what? As you can see here, there's a four at the end. Point one, point one, point one is not just shifting a you know decimal from here to, uh, just before the integer. I mean, I always thought that okay, you put a decimal here instead of there, you know, it's just the same, right? There will be a bunch of zeros after the first number uh, after the de decimal. That's not the case. Something I learned that day, x equals what? x equals 1.9, yeah, shift enter. Then let's just type x is what? One point, I mean, float, so I can convert that to hex. Hmm. Well, if you don't know hex, then don't worry about it. If you just like look into, get into Python programming for you know, creating a web, web page or automating something, then you might not have to worry about it. You just you know, go through it once. Into a hexadecimal, yeah. Then what if I want to do the opposite float dot from hex? I will do this, copy this. Control C, Control V, X value returned. I'm going to say X value converts a hex value from X value to float, huh? Correct? I think that's right. X is eight, Y is nine. Mm -hmm. Complex X comma Y. Hmm, it's a complex number. I was bad at maths too, but I don't have to do all this I mean, especially if you're bad at math, then you should learn, you know, how to use Python because a lot of data scientists use it uh, apart from R, Julia. I think Python is now the most used programming language uh, in data science. Julia, that Julia, J-U-L-I-A, R was the prominent. Python is the leader now when it comes to growth or the number of people who are using it. Julia is also picking up really fast. Um, yeah, so, okay, I digress, sorry, and then let's say C equals X comma Y, right? The same thing on top, and then I can convert that to C dot real, like this. So it can't convert it to a real number. I can, let me put some comments for you, convert to a real number. Then I can say C dot image. What it does is it converts that to an imaginary number C, right? So this is real, this is imaginary. So that's why you got eight here. And here you got nine. I don't know why it's called as imaginary number. You're imagining something. So yeah, I think so. All right, see so our image. So I think that's all we had. We are going to talk about this later. Um, not specifically uh, the mathematical stuff, but uh, in general, you know, Python, what are the other data types which are there and how to use them. So thank you for tuning in. Have a great one.